Hello everyone, this is me, Nicole Palachicho, your electrolysis goddess at Electroyogi Electrolysis in Los Angeles. Also, sustainability master's student at Harvard, studying sustainable food systems, just an aside. But really why I'm here is to talk to you all about two weeks from, well today, two weeks ago, I had surgery, thoracic outlet syndrome surgery for my cervical rib that I was born with, to have it removed as well as to have my anterior and middle scalenes and pectoralis minor muscles released, and then kind of a rebuild of this whole side of my body in the brachial plexus area. And I just wanted to give an update for those of you who suffer from this rare condition on where I'm at. So first I wanna show you the scars. This is the scar in the neck because I had supraclavicular and intraclavicular um, incisions. And then here is the pec minor where they went in there and also were manipulating the brachial plexus. And then right here is just where my drain was. So two weeks ago, not bad. A few days ago, I had my stitches removed and then there's internal stitches that are dissolving over time and in terms of mobility like I can move my arms I can do things my arms can go out to the side they can go up over my head I have a little bit of strain in my bicep like my bicep is a little bit strained on like the, the pull the up um, and I have some numbness in the tips of these fingers um, but pretty good grippiness. It's just that when I really press hard at the tips, you can feel that the nerves are still trying to come back, still trying to fire. Um, same goes like here in the elbow. Like I can do, I can do movements and that feels fine, I have no pain. Um, but it's uh, like last night, this, this little whatever this tendon is was twitching. And so I feel like, you know, the nerves that were manipulated in this process and had been damaged as a result of my lifetime of having a rib compressing my neurogenic structure, my subclavian artery and vein, um, they're just trying to come back. And I feel very hopeful. I'm active, I'm staying active, I'm staying busy. The hardest part I will tell everybody, at least for me, is trying to sleep. And the problem that I've had is that I can tell that my shoulder right here, the like behind the scapula, um, is unstable. Years ago, I had a tear in my rotator cuff because I was a swimmer most of my life. And same problem, when you try to sleep at night, if you're trying to lay flat, it's like through the roof pain when the shoulder and maybe even the elbow kind of falls backwards. So I'm sleeping on the couch. <laughs> My husband's in the bedroom. I'm on the couch, like, with basically a pillow, like, trying to sleep upright with a pillow behind me and then a pillow propping up the shoulder and the elbow so that it's not falling back to where over the hours of trying to sleep, it just sends, like, a surge of pain that is... I don't want that for anybody, <laughs> not me anymore. But it's getting better, two weeks in. So th it's a very complex um, situation, I think, for anybody. Um, unfortunately, when you have arterial compression, you, you're at risk of a lot more problems, which I was having. And fortunately, when they went in there, the artery was inflamed, as is, is the norm for someone who has this type of compression, but I didn't have aneurysm. I didn't have a clot, a blood clot in the vein or anywhere else, fortunately. So I feel lucky that I took the action that I did and then my plan is in the next six months to do this side. And I know for some people, surgery is the last resort. It was for me. I spent 20 years trying to manage. Once I found out that I had this extra rib and I was dealing with all this numbness tingling and my hands going white, I thought, oh, I'll just manage it. I'll just modify, I'll just, do PT and I did all the things and nothing helped and then my work because as you all know I work as an electrologist and I'm doing this all day every day turning like this like leaning forward and there's no amount of exercise yoga PT training that can compensate for this 
repetitive stress compounded by a structural issue. So I just wanted to give you all the update. Um, I noticed in my research, there's so few testimonials, so few stories. I'm, I feel very, very grateful for my care team at Cedar sinai uh, the Los Angeles Nerve Institute, Dr. Mitchell Siroya and his wonderful team, um, and Dr. Azizadeh, also at Cedar sinai in the vascular department. Um, they have taken great care of me so far, and I have nothing but positive um, intentions going forward. Um, that's all I have to say. Oh, in terms of medicine, like, I'm not taking painkillers. I haven't taken painkillers really at all. I'm not taking the nerve pain medicine um, because that has been pretty manageable for me. The hardest part is trying to sleep at night and I've been managing that like with Tylenol before bed. Um, yeah, and that's, that's where we're at two weeks in. So um, thank you for listening. And to those of you curious about electrolysis, uh, I'll, be keep, I'll continue posting videos. And uh, thanks again for your time. Good luck to all you all out there suffering. I know it's a really hard um, problem to have. And uh, yeah, I just wish you all all the best and thank you. Good wishes and happy 2024.